Hi guys, so today, something a little bit different. Instead of my normal haul videos, we are going to be looking at the... These are the five-star uh, Funko Ghostbuster figures. So we got... Fankman. And Ray. And Winston, which is my favorite figure. At least until I get him out of the box. We'll see. Once I get him out of the box, it might be Egon. I kind of like Egon. So, so uh, let's open these up and see what we like about them. Do a little bit of a review. So, so here's the gang out of the package. Um, and I busted out my uh, Firehouse and Ecto-1 just because I really don't get a chance to very often. Um, so I just thought, why not make a good backdrop? Um, man, that thing really needs some, like, detailing, some stickers on the outside or something. Um, anyway, um, so let's, uh, change up the camera angle and check these guys out a little bit closer. So here they are with their individual accessories, and two of them are standing because, uh, well, only two of them can stand. Um, so let's start over here with Peter. Let me move this thing. Um, so his accessory is a little walkie-talkie, and he has no place to store it, so we're going to go with his hand, see if it holds it, okay, that holds it pretty good. Um, the only articulation on this guy is the head kind of turns, and we got movement in the arms, nothing in the legs or the feet. Um... The proton pack is removable, which I was really happy about that. I thought it was going to be molded. Um, so I'm really happy that we got proton packs. Or the, the ecto, the wand, the proton wand. Um, so here's some of the detail on the back. Just a little bit of paint. Nice little Ghostbuster logo. Got a touch of purple on mine for some reason. And then I got a hole drilled on the neck. I'm assuming that's for some kind of mold release or something. Some way they design it. That's a big crack in the neck, though. I feel like they could have fixed that, done a little bit better job on that seam. Oh, that's just nitpicking, though. These guys are extremely tiny and extremely cute. Um, and I'm very happy to have these things because they do look nice. Um, I would like if they stood more. Um, so let's check out Ray. So we got his goggles. And let's see... So there he is with his goggles, but chances are I'm going to have him up on the top of his head. That'll work. And i got to pull his proton pack out, or his proton wand. So maybe kind of tilt this off to the side a little bit. There we go. Kind of like that. Well, let's see if he stands. Oh, he'll stand with the goggles on. Alright, and then Egon comes with his little foot trap. Uh, nothing clear on the glasses. Um, same articulation. Let's see. I'm not going to hold that, are you? So, does that just stand that in front of you, maybe? Let's see, a proton wand. I like all of these guys having their wands out. Maybe. I would really like it if you held this. There we go. Ah, now he'll stand. All right. And then, last but not least, I got Winston here with Slimer. And, again, I wish this would, there we go, let's make Winston left-handed. Let's see if we can get this, get him to hold this thing here. So, kind of change it up a little bit. Alright. 
And there we go. We got the full set there. Um, I really like that set. I think they'll look good in my Ghostbusters display case. Um, let's see how they look with the Ecto one. In all honesty, scale wise, I think that fits pretty good. bit shorter than the car so I guess it's not really the best scale wise but they look like they would fit in there let's try one nope maybe if you really wanted them to so yeah um, glad I got these guys on clearance. I don't think they were worth 10 bucks a piece, but I guess I paid eight bucks a piece for them. So I guess I've considered they were worth that because I paid it for them, but I don't know. I would have much rather had them for 20. But either way, they're going to look. Like I said, it looked cool in the display case. And that'll stay in Egon's hand. That'd be even better. So I'm going to get these guys all set up and uh, get started on my next review. So thank you guys for watching.